I am thrilled to be here. Wow. I have been teaching this class since 1995 in North Van. I started a little studio there. It helps to get this industry and to teach people like yourselves. Because when I started, there was nothing like a class. It was just, you had to get in and, and learn as you went. And I was very lucky. My first experience was with Don Adams. So, and that was by being cast over the phone, you know, by auditioning, trying to convince somebody. And that's really all you need, right? You don't need to be there in person. So things like that happen, and they'll happen to you. And you usually do just go to a network series when you get a gig. But it's nice to have this in between now. Um, I want to tell you everything I've ever learned in this medium. I've been in this business doing animation only for 25 years now, 30 years at least, in show business at least. I started going, ah, this is big, and I'm now 75. And I uh, started in my 20s in LA because it beat waiting tables in between acting gigs, and that was it. I kept it off my resume. I Fabulous. And it's hard, you know, and, and I'll just say this, we'll get out of the way, it's a very good looking person, it can be very, and, and, I'm, and I'm a fairly good looking person, and when we do on camera, it can be very limiting. Forever I was playing Holly Hunter, forever I couldn't get out of that mode. I'll tell you, it's kept me sane. To play bunnies! And old ladies! And <laughs> dogs! I mean, because I'd never be cast at that physically. So, welcome. And the physical has nothing to do with it. It's so wonderful being free of that. Living in LA, it sure beats plastic surgery. It's one of those ageless mediums, and you get a wonderful, wonderful workout. You'll find that the goofy characters, the more goofy, the more that men can play women, the more that you can stretch yourself, the better the other end will zing back. Trust me on that. So, you know, we'll go it st in stages, but you just, Feel free to test that for yourself, all right? And it'll make your, it'll enhance your on-camera straight feature film acting like you won't believe, you know, it won't hurt it. Sometimes we wonder that, you know, oh my God, I'm going to start overacting now? Am I going to know the medium? Well, my, you know, and trust me, you will. So just let that one go, all right? And jump in. Okay, thanks. Let's get the commitment stronger than trying and love to explore. Just think about that. Let's, let's work on really going for it. The reason I say that is, by the way, is because you want to be able to fall on your butt. You got to want to want to fall on your butt. And hey, if we, if, if, if there isn't that like, want, what is it, uh, isn't it better to risk than, than not to risk? How does that go, right? So that's all I'm saying. Definitely a risk and we're gonna work from the audition POV so that you don't fall on your ass in an audition, you fall on your ass here. You find out what's too big, you find out what hurts too much, you pull it back. You become your individual caretaker, your own director, because no one can do that. You're gonna meet some pretty funky directors in your time, and they're not gonna be the ones who get you the job. You're gonna be the ones that make them look good. I'm the exception, of course, but, <laughs> but you know, keep that in mind and we'll get to that. But that's all. So we're training to um, find, to test the waters and go a little too far. And I promise you, from my LA days, I won't remember anything. You will never be auditioning for me, okay? So I, if you come in and audition for me, you, you, I'll forget everything I ever heard from here for the next two weeks. But I'll be with you as we go through. I will go, I will go with you wherever you want to go, okay? All right.